And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Alan Shoemaker. Temperatures back in the 80s on Monday. It looks like it should be a pretty warm day across much of the valley. It might even be close to 90 in Star County tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see if the, there's enough sunshine. But a couple of fronts in the area this week, maybe a few showers possible with a weak front rolling in later Tuesday into Wednesday. It might be enough to cool temperatures, though, for about a day or so. And also another disturbance crossing Texas by Thursday might create a few showers or storms our way. So kind of those three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, are our best chances for any showers or a couple of thunderstorms around. But any storms that we showed you earlier tonight in North Texas are staying to the north right now. 15 miles per hour, the wind from the south and west will go 21 in Harlingen. It was very gusty again today. We did have wind advisories out for parts of the valley, but that's all been canceled. Just a light breeze tonight and should not be as windy tomorrow, but future track shows a little breeze trying to come to life. Here's 8 a.m. It's very light, but there's a weak front. Hesitate to call it a front, kind of like a little wind shift line of some dry air coming in from the west during the day. That's why you see the wind forecast be west and northwest in the western valley, but more south in Cameron and Wilsey County. So along that boundary and off to the east, it might be a little breezy at times and over Cameron and Wilsey counties tomorrow, but most of the valley the winds look pretty quiet most of the day tomorrow. So your day planner for the day on Monday, upper 60s in the morning, near 80 or better by lunchtime, a high close to 84, but with a little bit of dry air coming into the upper valley, maybe some added sunshine. You could be uh, pretty much above that most of the mid and upper valley tomorrow afternoon. Uh, especially from McAllen to the west if we do get enough sunshine. Lower Valley might be a few degrees cooler with a few more clouds, but in general, kind of a partly to mostly sunny day and a warm day and temperatures in the evening falling back into the 70s with dry weather. Now our rain chances pretty much near zero tomorrow. You see this is the satellite radar from early this morning through this afternoon. It's been dry all day long. You look up to the north, big storms are going to the north. Tornado watch is in effect for central Texas from just north of San Antonio to near Dallas. These storms moving due eastward and could spread some heavy rain and storms across central and eastern Texas tonight and early tomorrow morning. But all that's moving off to the east. Cold air is behind this, but not able to move too far south. So it's below freezing in Amarillo, but all this cold air getting uh, kept up to the north and moving away the next day or so. But future track does show a couple of changes coming. We have this little weak front, like I called it for tomorrow morning, trying to come in in the upper valley. All it's really doing is probably going to shift the winds around a little bit to the west in the upper valley, dry out the air a bit and may warm things up. So the afternoon can be pretty warm and sunny in the upper valley. Lower valley might be just a little bit cloudier, but still pretty warm overall. And by tomorrow night, sun goes down, clouds start to thicken up. We could have a couple sprinkles or showers on Tuesday. There is another front coming in, one that's a little bit stronger on Tuesday evening and night. So you see it's scattered showers are more likely late Tuesday, Tuesday night and maybe Wednesday morning with this front. This front might have enough cool air with it. I think we'll get maybe some thick clouds around on Wednesday and a bit of a northwesterly breeze may keep temperatures in the 60s or lower 70s most of Wednesday, and that's probably our maybe our only cool day for the work week coming up. It looks like temperatures will be around 80 or better most days this week. Rain chances dry tomorrow, but about 30% chance on Tuesday, 20% on Wednesday. If we had put Thursday on there, it might be around 30 to 40%. Again, we'll track rain chances later in the week again coming up next half hour. But your first 1570 forecast. Near 84 tomorrow, not nearly as windy, partly sunny skies overall. Tuesday, could see a couple of showers late in the afternoon or evening and in the Tuesday night. Wednesday, cloudy and maybe a few light rain showers, especially in the morning. Highs near 72, but it could hold in the upper 60s. Thursday, we could see a shower storm with another disturbance rolling through. And then by Friday, Saturday and Sunday, warming up, but another front may be in the area to cool things off by Sunday. Can never cool sports off around here, and Brandon has some big scores for tonight's football games.